Here are three things you can make from aerosol cans. Make sure the can is empty before you cut it. Puncture a hole before using any tools that could create a spark. When I was 100% sure that there was no gas left inside, I started to cut the can. I'll need top part of two cans. And by the way, you probably want to wear gloves and safety goggles. I used a drill to spin the disc and a file to sand it. I removed the spring, the stem and the plastic that was holding them. We have two discs from two cans. I glued them together and used nut and a bolt as a clamp. Then I made a hole bigger. I bent an L bracket into a U shape. I measured the bolt and cut it to size. I attached the wheel to the bolt with two nuts. And for the ends of the bolt, I used acorn nuts. To make sure nuts don't come loose, I applied some glue. Well, that's it! We have made a light duty pulley. For this one I used only one can. After cutting and sanding top and bottom discs, I glued the washer to the top. Then I glued both discs together. We have made a simple handle. For this one, you also need only one can. After cutting and sanding top and bottom discs, I glued the stem to the top disc. I took the stem from the pulley can. Then I glued top and bottom discs together. We have made a simple spinning toy. This toy can spin for more than 2 minutes. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like. Which thing did you like the best?